so you will never guess what I got up to today. You know how I like to keep my creative juices flowing and how I've always been fascinated by art. Well, today, I decided to merge my love for art with my passion for mixology. You know, kind of like wine and cheese, except it's drawing and cocktails. I had this crazy idea about sketching my cocktail creations, and I decided to give it a shot. So I met Gordon, the art tutor, and he showed me some photorealistic drawing techniques. Let me tell you, it's harder than it looks. My first attempt looked less like a cocktail and more like, well, a blob. But after a few tries, I started getting the hang of it. Meanwhile, guess what popped up in our usual chaotic group chat? Ming had this wild suggestion about using a DIY cocktail kit, kind of like that pottery kit incident. Remember that one? We fumbled about so much painting those vases like our lives depended on it. I've got to admit, those were some comically unique vases. Anyway, back to the cocktail kits. The idea took off like wildfire. Imagine it, a kit filled with curated ingredients and tools, and if we can perfect the sketching bit, each kit would come with a sketch of the cocktail they're making. Yuna even thinks it could be a successful startup, and Hana is already dreaming of my Queen's Gambit green tea making waves in the market. You know what? She might be onto something. Maybe people would love making their own cocktails from a kit that comes with sketches chosen by a mixologist for them to recreate. And get this, Ming is all excited about designing an app for it. It was literally like one casual idea snowballing into a full-fledged business plan. All our passions in one project. Mixology, tech, art. Who knew our random small talks could lead to such big ideas? Seems like I've got an exciting project on the horizon. Okay, let me stop rambling before I get too carried away here. So, I tried something new today. Continuing from where we left off, imagine my usual bustling bar. Just a lot quieter this time. No clinking glasses, no patrons discussing their favorite drinks, just the calmness that seeps in when you're solely focused on something. That's what I did. I decided to practice mindfulness with Day, my meditation guide. It's not the traditional way to appreciate cocktails, but it was so enlightening. I dedicated some quality time solely focusing on the texture, smell, and taste of each concoction. Totally zen-like, if you ask me. It was so different from the boisterous environment I am usually engrossed in. I focused on every little detail of each cocktail, from the way the ice cubes clinked against the glass, to the aroma that wafted up from each one. The very act of stirring them slowly, tasting, discerning the flavors, the whole experience was, well, it was like sipping through an art gallery. But guess what? This mindfulness chat sparked a barrage of ideas in our group chat. Ming thinks it would be helpful for coding, of all things. Hana's using it for curating, and even Yuna thinks it could help her with running. She thinks being mindful might help her push through the last grueling miles of her runs. I know, crazy, right? But coming to think of it, our group isn't exactly known for being conventional. Speaking of our group, Ming is apparently rediscovering his love for chess, thanks to his rerun of The Queen's Gambit. His own version of mindfulness, maybe? Who knows, we might soon be having weekend hangouts over chess and cocktails, and I can see our hangouts getting as eccentric as ever. Also, do you remember Yuna's obsession with unusual food combos? She's talking about cinnamon roll waffles now. Sounds bizarre, but with a good dose of instincts and maybe accompanied by one of my quirky cocktails, it might just work. I know I sound overly excited, but practicing mindfulness has allowed me to uncover a whole new way of appreciating my passion for mixology, and it just brings out the adventurous side of me. Speaking of adventure, I have got to tell you about the new recipe I've been working on, but maybe later. I can see a bunch of people shuffling into the bar. Looks like I need to get back to my mixing station— Guess I'll enjoy the humdrum a bit more mindfully now. Watch this space, my friend. More spicy stories coming up from the world of cocktails and their charming mixologist. For now, I better shake things up for my thirsty customers. Get this. Imagine me, right in the middle of my usually bustling bar, this time tending not to drinks but to plants. Yes, you heard it right. I have mingled botany with mixology. Inspired by our mindfulness chat, 
I decided to be mindful of the fact that a truly authentic cocktail needs its ingredients to be just as original. And what could be more original than homegrown herbs, right? So I've started my own little herb garden for my mixes. I'm growing thyme, mint, basil, rosemary, and even trying a hand at lavender. Can you imagine me prancing around with my apron, a pair of garden gloves, and a watering can, tending to my herbs with the same dedication with which I mix my drinks? I've got to admit, though, it feels different, but in a good way. You'd be surprised at how nurturing a plant can be likened to crafting a cocktail gives a new twist to every drink, similar to art, the creativity and the authenticity giving it a unique spirit, the way Hana would say. Speaking of our group convo today, everyone seems to appreciate the concept. A fun string of chats popped up when I shared about it. Yuna's imagination went off on a tangent about lavender martinis and passion-infused coffees. You know Yuna, always eager to taste new concoctions. Even Hana and Ming got into it, talking about how it's the same principle in curating art or coding, creativity and authenticity as the key. Ming even joked about planting some herb codes. Yeah, our chats are never dull, are they? I definitely won't forget the passion-infused coding bit in a while, but jokes apart, I think this might be a great project. Just like me, all of us in our gang seem to be discovering new facets of our passions. While I venture into botany, Ming tries chess and Hana keeps redefining the paradigms of curating. It seems like each of us has embarked upon an unexpected journey and I can't wait to see where our paths will lead. I can already imagine Yuna sipping my new lavender-based cocktail and complimenting it with her latest unusual food combo, probably cinnamon roll waffles or something just as eccentric. And if this herb garden project takes off, maybe someday I could create unique cocktails with different fresh herbs for each of you. What a treat that would be, right? Anyway, time to pull off the gardening gloves and go back to my mixing station. My guests won't serve themselves, will they? On second thought, why don't you drop by and I'll mix you up with one of my famous cocktails and we can chat about our new passionate pursuits. For now, though, it's time to mix and mingle with my evening regulars. Catch you later, my friend. <laughs>